slash debug is a command that allows you to debug functions as well as the tick performance of your game. Let's start with debug functions. This is basically going to run through a bunch of functions and tell you all of the commands that execute these functions, their return values, um, and if they called other functions and things like that. It's very helpful for you know checking the base of the performance of your map and like seeing where uh, a bunch of like repeated actions or things like that are happening. So I've set up a little bit of a demo environment here. Um, so we're just gonna run the debug on it first and then I'll show you what that actual data pack looks like. Um, yeah, of course, in order to add functions for a debug function, you do need to have a data pack. Um, it's not part of the scope of this tutorial about how to add that. I might do one of those eventually, but uh, yeah, this only works with data packs and nothing that you have in command blocks or anything like that. So let's run it. You're gonna see it prints a bunch of stuff. Um, the action bar message and then these two messages here are from the demo commands that I set up. But then it also prints this traced four commands from function ccm debug four to output file debug trace 2024.11.6.12.06.23.txt. Um, and this file is what we're going to want to look at. It's going to tell us, um, it's going to give us the debug trace, which is, you know, all the commands that ran and the return values and things like that. Okay, so I actually want to go over this before we do the debug trace because I think it's going to be a little bit helpful so you can see it in the syntax that you're familiar with, and then we can talk about how that appears in the debug um, and things like that. So. Uh, the function that we started debugging was this debug one thing. So what this does is it's going to execute as um, all players at them and run debug two. Uh, and then it's also going to say hi to all players. Uh, and then it's going to add this test objective and then it's going to run function CCM debug three. So the function that runs at all players CCM debug two is going to, sorry, that was my Discord, if you heard that, <laughs> um, is going to print a title bar action, title action bar message uh, that says cool man, and then add a tag uh, that says cool to the, that player. And then debug three, which is just running as the server, um, is going to set all players' scores of tests to one, and then it's going to check for all players um, uh, that have a score of test one, and then run the say tested command. So, in order to find that value, you need to navigate to your .minecraft folder. Um, I'm not going to go over specifically how to do that. Uh, ignore this. It doesn't exist <laughs> yet. Um, I'm not going to show you specifically how to do that, but um, for default, it's in app data and roaming .minecraft, and then um, that's where that is, but I'm using Prism Launcher, so it's in a different place, and whatever, don't worry about it. Um, anyway, so we're looking for, what is this, 12... Uh, 612.06.23, so that's this file here. So if we open this, it's gonna show us all of the commands that ran in that function run. Um, so first we started with ccmm debug one, um, which was the function that we, we ran first, obviously. Um, and this function is a size of four, and this basically just means we ran a function ccm debug one. That's what the F means. C means that we executed a command so we executed as at a, at at s, run function ccm debug2. And then ccm debug2 returned a message that was running function ccm debug2. Right, so m means it returned a message. Um, then we ran another function, which was ccm debug2. Uh, and this is a size of two, so it has two commands in it. Um, and this function uh, ran a command that was a title at s action bar cool man, uh, which then returned a message showing new action bar title for crazy cow m and also returned the result of one. So uh, a result of one, basically it was a success. This is what you would get if you ran like execute store uh, title at s action bar. Um, not super helpful for a command like this. And I probably should have included a command that might've been helpful uh, to show you the, the Brigadier. It's technically called a Brigadier return value. Don't worry about that. Um, show you the return value, but uh, yeah, it returned one for success basically. <laughs> That's what that means. Uh, then we ran another command, which was tag at us at cool. Um, and this returned an error message, which was that the target either already has a tag or too many tags. So in this case, I do already have the cool tag. Um, and then this also returned just a regular message that is the same thing. And this is what was printed to chat, basically. Um, then we hop back out into CCM debug one. As you can see, this is not indented anymore. Like we come back out of an indentation layer. Uh, so that's how we know we're back in this function here. Um, and so we run this command, uh, run say hi, um, and this returned one for, uh, uh, is, is the return value of, of, uh, of this execute uh, command. 
Um, so there are two forms of return, um, which is sort of like really weird. Basically, execute has its own format for saying it returned a value. Um, and that's because it can be different, you know, based on like which entity it ran on and stuff like that. So, yep. Um, then we ran another command, which is corporate add test dummy. And we this also returned an error message that was that objective art exists, which it does. <laughs> um, we ran another command, ccm debug three, uh, which printed a message ccm debug three, and then ran the function ccm debug three. And the function ccm debug three set uh, my score to of test to one. And this returned the message set test to one, and then also returned the result. Uh, oops, returned the result of one because it successfully set my score of test to one. Oops. Um, and then um, get out of here, deep L. <laughs> um, and then we executed the command execute as at a at, at s if entity scores test one runs they tested, and then this also returned a value of one um, because it was an execute command. So that is. I don't know, sounds really complicated, but it's actually super helpful for basically just figuring out what commands your functions are running. If you're running into issues that you don't understand, this can be very helpful. Um, and it can also be helpful uh, to look at performance as well. Not the most, um, it's not the most helpful, right? Because like it doesn't tell you like this command took this long to run or anything like that. Um, but it can give you an idea of if you're running a bunch of commands uh, that you don't need to be running um, or a bunch of like duplicate commands and things like that. The checks that are just like failing automatically and stuff like that. So yeah, that is debug run function. You might've noticed that there are two other debug commands though, debug start and stop. These are very simple. Literally all they do is tell you the um, ticks per second. Pretty much. <laughs> so I can start tick profiling. This will run forever. Um, and then I can stop it. So it doesn't stop automatically. And then I can run stop. Uh, and this will basically tell me, you know, how long that ran, uh, the number of ticks that it ran for, and then the average ticks per second over that time. And that's all it does. <laughs> it's basically like a little timer kind of. Um, yeah. Now, because we're talking about debug commands and things like that, I figured it'd be very helpful to also show you another way that you can debug your game. Um, so if you're running into actual performance issues, what you'd want to use instead of debug function is F3 and L. So if you press the F3 key and then the L key at the same time, you'll pop up with this message that says it's started profiling. We're just going to wait for the 10 seconds because we might as well let it do its thing. There we go. Um, so this then stop tick profiling and this one actually returns a link here that you can click that will open file explorer to that location. Obviously you can't see that it did that, but trust me, it did. <laughs> Let me open it here, uh, pull this up there. There we go. So this opened uh, this and we're looking for 11, 6, 12, 12, 11. So 11, 6, 12, 12, 11. So created this little zip file here. Um, let's actually, eh, we don't need to necessarily. Uh, inside the zip file is a couple of folders and uh, a file. So this is basically your device information. Um, not super helpful for you necessarily, but if you're creating like a bug report for uh, uh, Minecraft, then you'll need to send that information in. Client is gonna give you information about what's happening on the client side of your game. So that's things like, um, I don't know, visual aspects. So models rendering and things like that. Uh, so if we look at like the profile here, you'll see uh, what took time basically. So we're saying um, we're in version 121.3. This is how long the profiler ran for, and this is the number of ticks it ran for. Um, and then this ticks per second. So this client runs at 60 ticks per second, um, 60 frames per second. Um, it should be 20 ticks per second. I don't know if that's necessarily true. <laughs> um, so we ran update display uh, every tick, and that took us 85% of the time per tick. Uh, and then we ran game renderer also every tick, but that took us 12% of every tick. Um, and inside the game renderer, we have a bunch of stuff. So you can see that like the terrain rendering took 95% of the uh, main render, which was part of the level render. So uh, terrain render is the biggest part of the performance hit here in the game renderer. Uh, you can see the translucent blocks took 11, 1.13% 1 um, or 0.12% of the total here. Um, you know, debug took 0.01%, the sky took 2.2%. So this is very interesting. Um, not the most helpful if you're uh, trying to debug like command performance issues, but if you're in uh, modded Minecraft and you have a bunch of like 
things that are causing problems. Like this will also track entities and things like that, right? So uh, you can see that there's actually only one entity, which is me. Um, but you know, this is you know, the performance of me, so you could do that as well. Um, look at all this stuff. It's very helpful for getting information about like why your game is not running the way you might expect it to be running. Um, probably don't need to worry about all this stuff. Uh, the uh, profiling file is going to be definitely the most helpful for you. Um, and then inside the server, if we look at profiling TXT as well, um, we can actually see uh, if commands were running, um, <laughs> which unfortunately I did not set up them to do, but you would be able to see commands running in here. Um, let's see if we can find server level commands. Okay, yeah, so I actually have a data pack on this world kind of by accident, but <laughs> uh, it's here. So you can see that um, it's actually running a couple of commands here um, from the Cherry Island, um, which is not doing so much. Um, oh, that's the dimension, sorry. So this, this dimension is, is uh, running uh, a couple of ticks and things like that. Um, doo -doo -doo. So we scroll down here, I believe, yeah, this is how much tick time the nether is taking, the overworld, the other dimensions, um, how much time chunks pulling is taking, things like that. So uh, I don't have time to like go in depth into all of this stuff because that's kind of crazy and it's not like necessarily helpful for you to know literally everything in this, but um, if you ever need to figure out like why is my game running slowly, why is my map running slowly, uh, you know, what can I do? <laughs> like look at this, this is not helpful at all, right? Um, that's how you do it right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys did find this helpful. Um, remember to like and subscribe for unbreaking all of your maps and making them perform very well. You will do that, okay? <laughs> no more lag in this game, all right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.